September 18th, Kilmarsh, Derbyshire, England. A 999 call comes in from a woman saying her son needs an ambulance because he has tried to harm himself. Just minutes later, 32-year-old Damien Bendel calls in and says, Um, basically I need the police in the ambulance now because, um, I've killed four people. Okay, just hold the line. Everything. When police arrive, they are met outside of the property by Bendel. And as they approach, this encounter unfolds. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Oh, right, come, come, come to me. Right. Mate, have you got yeah. anything on you that you shouldn't have? No, there's no weapons or nothing. Right, right. do you want to undo your coat? Have you, have, have, you, have you armed yourself? Yeah. You have? Have you, have you, got a, have you stabbed yourself, mate? I yeah. can see, see blood on your hands. Yeah. Anywhere else? Just my chest, uh, four inches in with a, with a bread knife. Can we have a look? And, yeah, and one on the stomach. I bled quite. Alright, do you want? Yes. Can we go down no, 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 just stay there, stay there. I just don't want to be in front of her. Alright, just around right. the corner. Alright, stand here, stand here, stand here. Stay here. Right, so we're what? 12, yeah? I know what's going to happen to you now, mate. Well, I know what's going to happen just... to you go to prison, obviously, but again. Why, what have you done? Have you done something to anyone else? Yeah. What have you done? I've murdered four people. As officers enter the home and begin the search for the victims, they are at an absolute loss for what they find inside. He's being calm and compliant, but he's got some stab wounds to his chest. They're not oozing blood, but he's saying that uh, his family are inside and that he believes he has murdered them. Are you alright for me to go in? Bendel's pregnant wife, 35-year-old Terry Harris, 11-year-old Lacey, and 13-year-old John Harris, Terry's children from a previous relationship, and the children's friend, 11-year-old Connie Gent, who was only supposed to have stayed the previous night, but talked her mom into letting her stay again the night of the 18th, all bludgeoned to death, each in different parts of the home. One officer saying he could still smell the blood outside. After discovering the scene, police arrest Damien Bendel. Damien, it's 07.47 hours, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Do not mention when questioned something you like rely on in court. And if you do say it may be given in evidence. Your arrest is necessary to protect you from harm, to prevent your disappearance, for a prompt and effective investigation. Okay? We're going to get you up, we're going to put you in the back of the van. It turns out that after committing this heinous act, Bendel took 13-year-old John's Xbox, called a taxi, and went and exchanged the gaming console for coke and cigarettes as he made his way back to the home, claiming that only after he got back from his drug run had he realized what he had done and tried to harm himself. Bendel was caught with blood-spattered hands on a convenience store security camera, where he buys a pack of cigarettes and devilishly smiles at the clerk as he exits the store. Today in court, this monster was given a life sentence and had to hear from Connie Gent's father as he stood up and told the court that this event shattered his life, that he would never recover from this tragedy, and that since he lost his daughter, there's a hole in his heart that can never be filled. A broken heart can kill a man, and I just pray for this young lady's father that God gives him peace. As for why Damien Ballard did this, he claims to have blacked out and remembers nothing, so we may never know. But as we sit with our families, hug them tight and let them know they are loved, because you never know what evil lurks around the next corner. Thanks for watching y'all, comment below how this story makes you feel, stay tuned and subscribe so you never miss a moment, and as always, thanks for watching Curdy Flow Live.